Hello. Okie dokie, today's experiment is to see whether there's lots of bias airflow on my plenum for the TVR. So this is the tank that sits on top of the engine. I've put dainty little bits of string around it so that it can see which way the air is flowing. This is the tube that's coming out of the flow bench. And I'm going to turn it on for the first time and see what the poxing hell has happened. My guess is the air is running in here inside the tank and coming out in this direction because those cylinders seem to be running leaner than the cylinders on this side. So here we go. turning it up a bit. Well, that's interesting. We have what can only be described as a spirally vortexy type of a thing going on. Right, I'm going to investigate this further. Thanks for watching. Righty ho. So, I'm just going to do a little demo of just how much of a spin the air has on it coming out of these um, snorkels. Amazing! And they seem to be spinning about the same amount both sides, but in opposite directions. Airflow of 300 and not CFM, 28 inches. Let's turn it up a touch. Quite incredible. Noise. 
Thanks again for watching. Okie dokie, take three on the whole plenum malarkey. So I think I've found a solution which has a knock-on benefit of increasing the airflow substantially. So I'll just crank the pew screen around like that. Now check this out. On a spatula. Insert it in to sit in the way of the flow. Like that. Now the strings are much more vertical. Move it about. It's just going in. Without it, we've got 300 odd. With it, we've got much more vertical flow. Like so. It's a lot better. Got 80 more CFM. No. Well, this is a big better. The disc in the hole, just in the flow. A bit difficult to hold steady.